Last day of school. June 20th, 2017. Okay, worthless disappointments. Today is the last day for the finals. Here are the tests. Well, time to fail. Time to ace this test. <laughs> oh God, he's crying. Again. Nia, let's go to the bathroom. I think we should use time travel to learn why Mr. Jacobs is so depressed. I agree. Maybe then, he'll stop crying in class. And maybe he will actually be interested in teaching us. Did you see the test? It's ridiculously hard. I'm the math genius, yet I can't figure it out. Why does he enjoy our pain and suffering? Let's go to when Mr. Jacobs became sad and depressed. Did you see what Lexi and Nia did while you were in the stall? How the heck did they disappear like that? They said they were going to time travel. Let's investigate this. October 1986 Hey, we're still in Watersman High School. But everything looks old-fashioned. Mr. Jacobs must have attended this school. Hey, look over there. Yo, Jacobs. Tony, my name is Cody. Don't correct me, you faggot. You don't even have a date to prom. I'm still waiting. It's a girl's ass guy's prom. Nobody is gonna ask you. You might as well go with your cousin. Now move out of the way, before you give me AIDS or something. Hey, I don't have AIDS. And even if I did, I couldn't give it to you unless my blood infected your blood. Jesus. Take a joke. I have an idea. Oh no. You can take Mr. Jacobs to the dance. Then, he will become happier and more confident. But taking a teacher to dance is so embarrassing. There must be another way. Technically, he's not even your teacher yet. Do you want to pass geometry or not? Oh, fine. I guess it must be done. Hi there. This is the part where you say hi back. Hi. I saw the guy bullying you, because you don't have a date to the dance. I wanna prove him wrong. Wanna come with me? That would be amazing. Thank you. You're so nice. My name is Lexi. The name is Cody Jacobs. Nice to meet you Cody. I better go now. Alright, I did that, just for you. Don't you want to feel satisfied for helping someone become more happy? Oh please, you just want to get a good grade? Yeah, maybe at first, but I truly feel bad for him. Think of this as a mutually beneficial interaction. Fine, I'll do it. Ahem. I heard you ask the guy to the dance. But you can't go to the dance, dressed like that. It's tonight, you know. Who are you? The name is Sherry. And makeovers are my game. I have a feeling that I'll like you. Then come with me. I'll transform you, girl. Jill, that is the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. It's true. Lexi and me time traveled. They did it in the bathroom. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's true. I saw it. Stop disrupting my class. I'm not. I swear. They were talking about going to change your past, then they high-fived and disappeared. Oh my god, you're so annoying you know. I'm giving you a detention. Hey. Head down to the principal's office. I'm just kidding. This was a part of my senior prank, even though I'm a sophomore. My mom is the janitor. And she lets me store my makeover supplies in here. Come to think of it, you look really familiar. Will you be a janitor in this school in the future? Like, totally? 
My family comes from a long line of sanitation workers. My great-grandma was a servant, my grandma was a maid, and my mom is the janitor. I'm next in line for janitorial work. Maybe in the future, I'll come and visit you. Are you for real? That would be totally tubular. Anyway, let's give you a makeover. Hey Blondie, are you a chimney? Cause you're smoking hot. Hey, are you fucking deaf? I said you're smoking hot. I heard you, dude. I'm just not listening. Why aren't you making out with me yet? Normally girls just fall right into my lap. First of all, I already have a boyfriend. Second, I wouldn't even date you if I was single because you don't respect women. Don't tell me, you're one of those crazy feminist lesbians. Oh no. 2016 showed me what that's like. <laughs> the thing is, you don't respect anyone. You're just a stupid, mouth-breathing jockstrap. And men with giant egos are not really my type. You're just a prude. Any real girl would be logical enough to get a chance to date Tony Lovito. First time a feminist, now I'm a prude. Pick one, Tony Baloney. Why are you so angry? Are you on your period? I wasn't angry until you started harassing me. I take it that he didn't believe you. <laughs> yeah, he just gave me the tension. How will we get him to believe us? I don't know. Our story isn't exactly believable. You made me look very interesting, Sherry. I know I did. Now, the dance will be tonight after school. Make sure to be there. Okay, I better get going. Goodbye, Sherry. Well, this is what she did to me. You look very interesting. Let's just skip to the dance now. Thank you for taking me to the dance. No problem, Mr. Jacobs. I mean, Cody. Uh, okay. I just wanted to say something, though. Don't listen to what Tony thinks. He's just an idiot. It doesn't matter what he thinks about you. Your self-worth isn't based on how the cool kids perceive you. It's on what you do for other people. I never thought about it that way. My whole life I felt like a loser because of how he treated me. But you're right. I shouldn't focus on the negatives in life. Yeah, and personally, I find it pretty lame that Tony thinks he's better than you just because he can get more girls. I mean, he won't be able to get a real family if he keeps that up. Hey look, it's the nerd who doesn't know how to get good men. Anyone avoiding you would be a good decision. So, ready to go to the dance? Yeah, about that. I decided that I don't need a girl to go with me in order to be worth something. I've decided to go out and dance alone. Oh, okay. That's great. But thank you so much for helping me. I'm going to go now. So, where is Mr. Jacobs? Me, don't worry. I think I gave him some confidence he can learn of. So can we go back to 2017? I think we can try the geometry test now. Hey, we're back. Okay guys, who's ready to ace this exam? Here are the tests. A few hours later. Last day of school is over. We finished sophomore year. I'm crying tears of joy. This year has been so challenging on us. Wanna come to my house for a sleepover? Heck yeah. 